This is Witchspace News for Friday the 18th of October 2019 ...I'm Commander Burr. In this weeks news ...the scourge is ripping through phase 2 and will have a liberal sprinkling of community news that's caught our eye this week including the commander that draws art right across the face of the galaxy, a hooning video that will have you gripping your seat and a fantastic week of commander art from Spiver and more. If you find this video useful hit like and subscribe and remember to click the little bell icon. You can also join the Burr Pit community on our Discord server and if you want to help support the work of this channel you'll also find us on Patreon. Links to everything you need are in the description below. The ongoing interstellar initiative the ominously titled The Scourge hit phase 2 on Wednesday this week with the not really a surprise revelation that the Miracle Grow wannabe fertilizer EX7 produced by the Rockforth Corporation is, in fact, the source of a terrible blight that is wreaking havoc to food crops across the bubble. The original poor harvests that prompted the arrival of the EX7 fertilizer have now in fact rather embarrassingly been attributed to natural causes and the subsequent vegetable plague that is sweeping across the stars is linked to the use of EX7. Quite what the Rockforth Corporation is up to or why the EX7 is causing these issues has not yet been revealed and so all sorts of tinfoil hattery is, as you can imagine, still rife. As a result of the revelation the galaxy has unsurprisingly rapidly fallen out of love with the dodgy vegetable steroid and a new community goal has been established to rid the galaxy of EX7. The Taveri system has taken on the task of safely destroying the mega mushroom juice up powder and paying commanders handsomely to deliver the nutrition nuking substance to them. Meanwhile a new system state of blight has appeared in the BGS showing what systems have been affected by the great cabbage cold epidemic. What direct effects the tapioca typhoid has on the BGS are yet to be fully exposed but there are rumblings that the demand for basic foodstuffs is up and luxury goods are down in the blighted systems. To help boost the initiative ship manufacturer Lacon Spaceways has reduced the cost of the Type 6, Type 7 and the mighty Type 9 freighters by a significant margin. As of our recording the community goal is proving popular with 3 of the 8 tiers already hit. If you want to get involved then your chance to rid the universe of the civilization ending flower flu won't last forever. I'd also like to give an honourable mention to potato pox and rhubarb rabies that didn't make it into this cut of the news. One of the main tenets of Elite gameplay has always been to play the game your way. Indeed the games tagline is blaze your own trail. But I think even Frontier themselves have been surprised by the way that central idea has been adopted and adapted by this very creative community. I seriously doubt anyone could have predicted organisations like the Fuel Rats or the Hull Seals existing when the game started. Groups of players whose sole MO is to rescue and refuel stranded commanders. Indeed our own Commander Rini exists in the game almost completely to shoot video footage and take pictures touching almost no other part of the game unless it serves that purpose directly. Now witness the extraordinary works of Commander Zebadian whose entire gameplay experience seems to revolve around drawing pictures on a galactic scale. Plotting his roots on the galaxy spanning website edsm.net the lone commander has so far drawn a lego space logo and a Coriolis station with a couple of cobras from the original 1984 Elite. He's just now embarked on his next venture the logo for the in game player faction the Hammers of Slough. It never ceases to amaze us here at the pit how different any two peoples experiences can be in this extraordinary game. To marvel at Zebadian's works and track the commanders current progress head over to the Zebadian YouTube channel which is linked below. Commander Yagashura posted an entirely flight assist off low level hooning session from the GD140 system this week. We featured this kind of thing before notably from Commander Sanderling but this one is no less amazing and is both calming and terrifying in equal parts. There's some serious skills on show and if you want to learn this stuff for yourself then Sandling and Yagashura are both part of the community from the Newtons Gambit Discord 
and they'll help you get started with this most unique Elite Dangerous skill set. Links to everything you need as always are in the description below. The Stellar Photography, Videography and Fan Art Community has been holding a week long competition this week to produce famous music album covers with an elite twist. Regular viewers will remember we featured one of their competitions before when the theme was movie posters. This latest competition is no less inventive and creative. You can find the SPVFA linked below on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. And finally there's another 24 hour charity livestream heading to the community this time in aid of the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. Commander Link Savage will be playing Elite Dangerous continuously on Twitch for 24 hours on the 2nd of November. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then 07 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do please keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.